am a fan of Golden Hoops. You gotta guard the ball, stay in front of the ball, and when you do need help, you've got to get early appropriate help. Showing signs of life. Miller for three. Westbrook thought he was fouled there on a screen. Randolph now getting into it with Adams. There goes Steven Adams again. He's been involved in a lot of different scuffles throughout his his opponent. And what I like about him, he never shows any emotion. But this was a play a moment ago. I think Udrick probably there. That play is often called an illegal screen when it's a bang bang play like that, but that one is let go. And here you see Randolph going at Adams and Ed Malloy. But he does the right thing. Barnes for three off the iron. Loose ball. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Careful. Tucker took a shot at it. Tucker and Griffin going at it. I mean, and Blake's as hot as I've ever seen him. As hot as I've ever seen him. Well, when I made reference earlier to everybody at the Suns being scared of Tucker, well, don't include Griffin in that group. No, I don't. Okay, so they're going to battle for the rebound. Watch this carefully. And they're going to get tangled up. And there's just a, a, a takedown. But it's right there that Tucker threw a punch at Blake's face when they were on the ground. They're watching the replay on the big screen. I don't think any punches were... To watch when they hit the ground. Okay, they're down now. None yet. None yet. There's one. Oh, you throw a punch and you're suspended. So did you see it that time? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Got a right cross. Foul on Paul Pierce. And that's number two on Pierce. And there's James and Anderson coming together. The Heat are like sharks. He said, if they smell fear, they will eat you alive. Which may explain why Paul Pierce has been jawing and pretty much everyone. We saw him get into it with Shane Battier. We saw him get into it with LeBron James. And, and how about the save? It goes to Splinter to Bob. Free throws coming up for Tiago Splinter. How about the effort though? Amazing. Sean Marion. The Matrix. And that's right here. You see Tiago tries to go up. And there's the feet. And that's what they're looking at for Dewan Blair. The way he kicked the feet out of the bit. Yeah, and his facial expressions, which is what they judge, maybe, was pretty good with it. But from that angle, it looks like the kick. Oh, yeah. He got oh, yeah. Oh, book. yeah. Get off of me. Against his old team, the San Antonio Spurs. And the guy, let's face it, his old team, they he battled in practice against. And this game is about emotion. Marquise on a mission, Eddie. He's got 15 points in 10 minutes. Look out! Nick Young and Alex Lynn. And now Murray takes a swipe at Goran Dragic. And they've got to pull Nick Young away. Seriously. Now, you're going to try to posterize the guy. And all, he, all Alex Lynn did was grab his shoulder. He didn't even fall hard. Because if he did fall hard, he would be hurt. Am I correct? So he wouldn't get up. He jumped up as fast as anybody. So what's the issue here, young man? Yeah, it was a hard foul. Get up, you get a flagrant, then you go. He loses his mind. I just don't understand. Well, he pushed Land, then he pushed Dragic. Leaving, that's why you hear the roar from the crowd. Takes off his, his top, his jersey. He threw the undershirt. There's Jefferson's involved in those possessions. LeBron going to the hole and he's fouled and he is hammered by Josh McRoberts. They're going to probably take a look at this. I'm not sure that McRoberts made a play on the basketball. Josh McRoberts coming in. Yeah, that's not a play on the ball there. That's clearly going to be a flagrant. The question is, is it a flagrant two? Which I think very well could be because he did not make any play and he goes above the net. Tucker loses it. Here's James, and he's fouled by Josh McRoberts. Didn't like it either. A little shove by James afterwards. Says it's okay. 
No big deal. Passage sender. Yeah, that, you know, that's excessive if you ask me. Okay, I know it's not much. But he's not going for the ball. That is There's not no a question. basketball play. That's the question. Is it a basketball play? Just like the... Allen on the funnel. Kept alive. And then taken by Butler, who did not like the physical play of Johnson. And he goes at Johnson. A little shove from, from the back. And Butler is being restrained here. They do not want to lose Karan Butler. Karan Butler down. And now Ibaka comes over. Let's see if we can see there. There's the... The swipe, and Johnson tries to grab the ball for a jump ball, and then Thunder players were not thrilled with that hard foul that Johnson yep. gave on. It's the one guy you don't want to mess with, James Johnson. Black belt in karate, I believe. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> 6'9", 245. I mean, it wasn't anything. I mean, Johnson's coming in to just try to get a jump ball, but then he realizes the whistle blows, so. What a make contact with the, uh, apparently the for the particular teams playing that day. Oh, Paul stepped out and then, as he pushed, he was at a technical yeah. foul on Adams. And Adams, I think after they look at this one, he may be ejected. This could be flagrant because he took a shot at Chris Paul's head with his left elbow. We'll get a better look at it. The whistle's blown right here and then right here. Now he got him in the back and that's the, that's the key. If he had gotten him in the head, I think we would have seen something more severe, but there's kind of a, an elbow to the back that Paul doesn't like. He can do some things, Curry, that a lot of people can't do. Matthews again. Oh, and Freeland and Bogut start talking a little bit. Bogut's a guy who does some talking now. Oh, now they're going after it. Bogut and Aldridge, Aldridge and Bogut. Might have been a punch thrown there. Yeah, there was. There was a punch thrown. Marcus Aldridge frustrated with Bogut. Now Wesley Matthews jumping into the fray. Oh, Jermaine O'Neal pushes a blazer in front of the bench. Well, if Jermaine O'Neal's up, Jermaine O'Neal in the bench in a suit. I don't know if he took a swing or just a hard shove. But now it continues on the Warrior bench. As they're having to hold back a couple of Golden State players as now Freeland and Bogut have gotten close again. Oh, the Chris Mills, yeah. Bonzi Wells situation. Take a look here. Ooh, Bogut took an elbow at Freeland, and that's what he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. And, and he initiated, and Aldridge pushes. Keep watching here. Bogut looks like he takes a swing. Watch Jermaine O'Neal come onto the floor now. He's injured, but... Hit ahead in the day to the basket. Timeout Chicago. I say they needed that. Look out, look out, Nene and Butler. Bunning heads, looking at each other. Nene loading up to throw a punch there. Noah gets in the way. They had collided and like two Brahma Bulls, they had their heads. Well, here you gotta see the play. Now watch Butler here at the back end as Nene gives him a little chicken wing. Butler the head back and look at this. Oh, oh And now watch here is Jason Phillips. I give him credit for getting in there. Nene grabbed the back of Butler's neck, wouldn't let him go anywhere, and they will certainly well, first listen to this replay. Nene gives the hit yes. first and then initiates the headbutt. Go check it out in the timeout. Toronto by four to take a 2-1 series lead. These two guys facing off like uh, Brahma Bulls ready to go at it. This game has had its moments here. You saw the play with Antich, the trip there, the elbow up top. Millsap hooked it away on the run. Teague, he'll step back, and the three-pointer is not there. And that's been the story for Atlanta in this first half. And Scott coming to blows with Hill. They got tangled up. Mike Scott and George Hill. They just pushed in. Tell you what, Christians did a good job of getting in there real quick. Definitely some contact. They're going to have to. The official Joey Crawford and Bennett Salvatore, Derek Stafford. They got in quickly.